Hey everybody, what's up? This is Connor here with another video for Cross Coast Gaming. And today I'll be explaining how to use my script, Hearthstone Deck and Text. So before we get started, let's go over the different functionalities. I'll go over the main functionalities first, which is to make a uh, deck from a text file. So I'll just quickly show you that. I already have a priest deck.txt, which looks like this. So I'm just going to create a new priest deck, and on the deck creation screen, I'm just going to press the first hotkey. I'll go over the hotkeys in a second. I want to open up priest deck. I'm just going to make a deck really quickly from um, the text file, as so. So uh, that's its main functionality, make a deck really quickly from a text file. Now its second functionality is to get a text file uh, with an easier way, because you can write all these cards individually, but of course that's extremely annoying. So there's two sites you can use to get these deck lists. The first one is Hearthpone, which is uh, pretty damn good at it. So you can either use the deck builder to make a custom deck or make your own personal decks, or you can just go into these decks, which are other, which other people have made, and copy them. So uh, I'm going to do that right now because it's a bit quicker. So I'm just going to look up a basic deck. That way I'm sure I'll have all the cards. If you don't have all the cards, it's not a big deal. It's just going to leave blank spaces for you to add in um, after. When you're on this screen, you want to view it in the deck builder, which is, of course, if you made, if you made a personal deck, this is what you would have. You just fill, it, fill in all the cards. And once you've finished making your deck, 30 out of 30 cards, you want to just copy the link here. Press this second hotkey, which is F10. I'll go over these in a second once again. Press OK. It gives you the list of cards. Press OK. And save it wherever you want. So this, I already have a mage deck, so I'll just write down mage basic like that. And so that is going to save it on the desktop for me, mage basic. You can save it wherever you want, of course. So let's just throw that in the game real quick to show you. Mage basic, open up. Wow, snap draws in the Mage Basic deck. Not every day you see that card. So that's the second functionality, to get a text file. The third functionality is F11, which is just going to click 30 times to delete a deck because it's, a, it's actually quicker than having to uh, click here and create a new deck. So now that we've gone over that, I'll go over the last functionality, which is Heart Stats. Um, so Hardstats is a site that allows you to download a little program. Uh, it records all your stats with different decks, your arena win rate, etc, etc. This is a second account, that's why all this is empty. And uh, it mainly allows you to store all your decks. So if I go into my decks, I only have two on this account, Face Hunter and Priest Deck. You can also copy Pro Deck from the public deck list. Um, so I'll just show you... Uh, yeah, I think I have the right one. So. Uh, the right account link, I mean. So, this is what it will do when you press the key. It shows you all your decks in hard stats. So, uh, as you see, pre stack face hunter. So, uh, go onto the deck creation screen, press F9, gives you the list of decks, open up the pre stack, and it does the same thing with the online decks. Mm. So, this is good if you use hard stats. Actually, it's probably super useful if you use hard stats. If you don't, it's uh, probably just as easy to save them in text in text form. That way you can even change them just by taking out Shadow or Shadow or Pain and adding in whatever you want. Um, so that's the four functionalities. Now I'll just go over how you, you can use it. So to use this, it's a .hk, which is an auto hotkey script. So to do that, you're going to have to download auto hotkey. Uh, as you can see, it's a really small file. It's two megabytes, which is really tiny. And I would recommend downloading this anyway, because there's a ton of user made scripts which are also useful. Um, I mean, if you read all these, I'll go over why you should download it, but uh, basically I had, a, I had a script which is really useful, which allows me to keep one window over all the others, even when I click on the other windows, and it's even smaller than other programs that would do the same thing. And there's just so much you can do with it. So once you've downloaded Auto Hockey, you want to download this script. So I'll just uh, send the link to the SourceForge page, sorry, SourceForge page. You want to go into Files and download the most recent version, which is 2.2 .2 for the moment. I update it fairly regularly, depends on if there's problems with it or not. And you can also download the README or just read it here if you want to see the change log um, or if you want to see the source code before downloading, you can do that too. So once that's done, you've downloaded the script and you've downloaded AutoHockey and installed it, uh, you're going to end up with this .ahk file. It's one file and it's really small. So I'll just exit it here. Uh, I'll explain all that in a second. 
Once you get it, you want to open it up with a notepad or a notepad plus plus. It's the same thing except notepad plus plus you have colors. And you may want to change the stuff in the config section. So AP key, this is your Hearthstats AP key if you plan on using Hearthstats. So I'll just show you how you can find that real quick. You go into my profile here, your user key. This is my secondary account. I'll still hide the key from you because you're not meant to show it. And you can just paste it in here and uh, then you just uh, save save the script and you'll be good for hard stats for the rest of your life. I'll just take that out. Like that. There we go. Save. Now, uh, then there's resolution. So you just look at the resolution in game from Hearthstone. Options. So you have a list of resolutions. Just look at which one you use. Whether you're on windowed or full screen, doesn't matter. And if you use one of these for resolutions, set it to 69s. If you are on the, if you're using one of these, sorry, set it to four thirds. So you just take it out. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, insert mode. There we go. And write down four thirds like that. I'm using 69s currently, so I'll just put that back. There we go. Slow mode. If your computer is too small, slow, sorry, and it's not keeping up with the um, with the clicking, maybe a bit too fast, and it may be missing out on a couple of cards. You can set this to true, as so. And that way the script will run a bit slower for you. Uh, I didn't, no, I didn't explain this. Okay, so if you change the resolution to whichever one you have and it still doesn't work, you can put that on true. And then when you launch up the script, so you're just going to double click on the script. It will tell you to click, it will tell you, sorry, to click on your, um, to actually to put your mouse over the search box and press a button that it will tell you to press. And then put your mouse over the first card or where the first card would be and press again and that way no matter what resolution you have you can put your no matter what resolution it is it will work basically uh you probably won't need to do this any but anyway it's just it's a safe it's just to be safe just so to make sure it works for everyone touch device mode this is for windows touch devices uh that don't clear the search box automatically so this just clears it so it'll work on windows touch devices of course if you're on pc leave it on false so this is the basic configuration, and you probably won't need to change it, but you may need to. You can also change the hotkeys. Uh, so I'll go over each one individually. It will also remind you, them, remind you the hotkeys when you open it up. But you can change them from F9, F10, F11, and F12 to whatever buttons you want. Or you can look at the auto hotkey documentation, which I've linked here, which will allow you to, uh, it will just say how to change to whatever hotkey you want. If you want it to be to Control alt e Control alt r Control alt t you can do that too. Um, you can also change the stuff under the config section if you're comfortable with auto hockey. I don't mind that at all. So now, once you've changed all the config to suit you, you can just open it up once again. And so I'll just remind you all the hotkeys in case you forgot them. And it'll be running down here, and uh, it will hardly use any resources, so you could leave it open for this, for all your life. But if you um, so. Now the hotkeys will work. F10, F11, and F12 will all work once it's open, and you can do it as much as you want. And then when you're done using it, you can exit it if you want to. If you make, you can edit it from here. Sorry, uh, if you want to change pff, slow mode, if you want to put slow mode on, you can edit it from here. Go over to slow mode, true. And every time you make a change, you either want to reload it, or you can just exit it and open it again. So I'll just reload it, and now slow mode is on for me. So I think that about wraps up the how to use section. So now I'll just explain if you have any troubles, don't be afraid to post anything, any questions or comments uh, below the video. I will read them fairly often if you have any problems. And if not, you can always put them on the SourceForge discussion page. General discussion, you can post whatever problems you have here. I'll generally, I've replied to every single one for now, so I'll try and keep doing that. So. Yeah, I think that about wraps it up. Enjoy the script. Hope it works for you. If not, I'll try and fix it for you. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.